You look like you're dragging a bit. Want another can of Stark Drive? The God Killer has been displaying some strange behavior. You mean besides the glowing? Yes, besides the glowing. Um, this concerns you directly, I think. I've noticed whenever you're in its presence, the artifact begins to almost pulsate like it comes alive for you. What do you make of that? If the God Killer is responding to me, then maybe I am meant to wield it in battle. Maybe I was always meant to wield it. Perhaps this is another part of the prophecy. If so, then I hope it's the part that means good things for us. Because the rest of the prophecy is not exactly promising. Is it still safe for me to pick up? I suspect you're the only one of us who can. I don't think the God Killer wants anyone else touching it. I will just pray that is a good thing. Been one hell of a wild ride, hasn't it, Hunter? It is about to get wilder. You know, when I graduated MIT summa cum laude, I knew I was destined to found a billion dollar tech empire. But if you told me I would one day trade in my state-of-the-art Avengers lab for a demon-powered forge in a haunted abbey, and my Nobel Prize-winning staff of scientists for Dr. Spooky and the Jolly Green Giant, I'd have told you I didn't believe in fairy tales. You have indeed come a long way in overcoming your rabid case of rabdophobia. Oh, you're talking about my resistance to the use of magic. If by resistance you mean an almost debilitating fear of anything mystical, then yes. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. Okay, okay, maybe I was a little apprehensive about all the hocus-pocusing, but you helped me get more comfortable with it. And I'm fine now. Well, mostly. Babs, the adorable Babylonian demon who lives in the furnace, does tell me to do things sometimes. What things? I'll just keep your door locked at night and you'll be fine. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for that a long time. Oh, so you think you are a prankster now? Oh, I'm a pro at pranks. Just ask Strange. If you ignore the sense of demonic gloom lurking in the flames, it's almost like we're back in the workshop at Avengers Tower. Almost. You seem quite occupied here. It's good. It's really good, actually. If I can keep myself busy enough, I think I can keep the darkness at bay. Do not be afraid to rely on your friends. They can support you when you feel uneasy. I'm doing exactly that. In this forge with the scientific instruments laid out before me, it feels safe. I hope I can hold on to that for as long as I can. It turns out all I needed was to get my hands on a decent set of mass spectrometers. And to be reunited with those two. I miss them. I don't want them to hear. Their egos are big enough already. I will leave you to finish whatever it is you are working on here. seen you out here in years, Sarah. This particular piece of ground is scarred for me with memories I rather forget. You know that. You recognize this place, don't you, Hunter? This... This is where I killed... Your mother. Yes. And gave up your own life to do it. You made so many sacrifices to put Lilith to rest then. I'm just sorry you have to go through it all again. I am not. I fear no death, Agatha. How can I? I know you will be waiting there for me on the other side. And I will be, if it comes down to that. But I don't think it will. Why would it be any different this time? 
Because everything is different now. You won't be facing Lilith alone this time. You have friends who will fight by your side. I did not have friends in my last life. I'm glad you got to live again to make them. The friends you made here won't let you die this time. You cannot assure that. No, not for sure. But I like your chances. You should speak to Sarah while you're here. She loves you like her own child, you know. We both do. I see you've spoken to Agatha. I have. I couldn't help but overhear some of your conversation. She's right, you know. Things are different this time. I won't make the same mistake I did last time by sending you into battle against my sister alone. I tried my best to prepare you then. But now I understand how I failed you. I isolated you, trained you to become what I wanted you to be. And I lost you because of it. You did what you had to do. I have no regrets about it, and neither should you. Don't you see? I raised you to believe that your only real value rested upon your ability to hunt. To be the perfect weapon. But you're more than that. More than the hunter. You're the only child I had. Ever will have. Just promise me. I won't lose you again. You need to know this. I always thought of you as my real mother. I love you too. God. I don't think I've been this emotional in years. Well, I ought to let you get back to your night. There's an abbey full of people who are waiting for you. Best to get to them before it gets too late. Good night, Sarah. I'll see you in the morning. So, Sarah finally told you the truth. Why did you not tell me, Mother? The decision to sell my soul was mine alone. I never wanted to make you feel responsible for the sacrifice I made. But you did it to save me. A mother would do anything to protect her children. I am no different. I love you, child. I'd do anything for you. All I ask is for you to make it all worth it and stand by my side. If you sold your soul thinking that would give you leverage over me, that was your mistake. I owe you nothing. I understand. I just want you to know, when you fail, my offer will still stand. Do me no favors, mother. Why won't you accept how much I love you? Can a creature such as you even love? More than you know. Very soon you shall see. You cannot stop us, Mother. I will face you. You always have. Tony and I have been researching this god killer as best we can. We've been limited by what's available to us here in the Abbey. I should hope you have found something by now. Well, um, the fact of the matter is that I have. It's a bit troubling, to tell you the truth. 
I really need to double check my findings. There are a few more scrolls I should consult. If you are not ready to share information with me, then I trust you to let me know when the time is right. I appreciate your confidence in us. However, I fear the time may never be right. Perhaps I should tell you now. I suspected this blade had a connection to Cathan, but I didn't realize how intimate that connection truly was. I am not sure I like where this is going. I feel unclean even saying these words, but the God Killer wasn't just made to fight Cathan, it's made of Cathan. I'm sorry, this is somehow worse than I was expecting. Could you repeat that? The ancient texts tell of Cathan's last appearance in our plane when the forces of humanity assembled to drive him back, and in doing so, they sliced off part of the Dark God. That part was lost to the ages, until now. It is resurfaced, now forged into a weapon. The God Killer. Incredible. Part of me feels we should throw it into the forge right now and wash our hands of it completely. If this is truly made of Cathan's being, as you say, then not even the demon-haunted fires of the Forge will make a mark on it. That's what I'm afraid of. I feel drawn to it, like it wants me to pick it up. I suspect you're the only one who could do it. Every attempt I've made to touch it has not gone well. I knew it. I knew you were holding back something. I had intended to consult with Hunter privately before telling the whole team, but yes, now you know. I suspected it was part of Cathar. You don't normally encounter daggers that immediately make you feel like you want to throw them far out to sea. But if you feel like picking it up, go on. I can feel the power of it. Rising and falling. Like it is breathing. I could use something like that, as a nightlight. A weapon like this is not to be trifled with. I think we're very lucky that Red Skull kept it buried away as deep as he did. What, was he sucking it away for a rainy day? He probably thought he could use it to kill Lilith. This world's only big enough for one psycho-narcissist tyrant, I guess. And now it is ours, and let nothing stand in our way. Of course. Never mind. I'll knock it off with the mysterious stuff. Just come out and say what's on your mind. It's entirely possible Lilith could have an entirely different use for the God Killer. She could use it to complete Cathan. Well, that changes things. Hunter, I need you in the war room as soon as possible. Feeling good today, girl? <laughs> Well, are you ready to defy a prophecy? Not yet, but soon. Good. Let me know when you're ready. Agatha. What brings you to the library at this hour? In your reading about Cathan, have you come across anything about a weapon made from a piece of his body? This is about the God Killer, isn't it? It is. You already know what it's made of. Why are you so interested in knowing more? I just want to know if it is dangerous. To who? Cathan? Lilith? No. To me. When I came near it, the blade glowed. As if it recognized me. It recognized you? Yes, it seemed to respond to my presence. Curious. I wish I had an explanation for you, but I don't. Since Strange learned of the Blade's more than disturbing origins, I've been doing more digging on the subject. Well, I haven't come across anything 
specific about the God Killer or its apparent tendency to illuminate, I did find one hopeful nugget of information about it that should come as some comfort to you. Please continue then. I could use all the hope and comfort I can get. There is reason for both. You see, if Red Skull kept the God Killer as a means of double crossing Lilith and protecting himself from Cathan, he was wise. According to the texts I've been reading, only Cathan can kill Cathan. If that blade really is made from him, it's the only thing in all of creation that can destroy him. The question is, are you sure you're up to taking your mother's life in order to end Cathan's? Because the God Killer now makes that possibility very much a reality. I have already committed matricide once to save this world, and have no regrets about it, as I have no hesitation about taking her life again. I'm just sorry you seem to find yourself in this heartbreaking position over and over again. Me too. You, my dear, have the weight of the world on you more than ever now, and it shows. Perhaps getting some rest while you still can is in order. And you, Agatha? Do spirits ever rest? Not this one. Not until I know every single soul I care about is safe. It's an odd change of pace, but you're going to have to protect that Hydra equipment rather than destroy it. Don't waste any time. Take them out before they can do any serious damage. Roger, Dodger!
want me gone. Yesterday, Hulk sees more. They don't seem to be our match today. See? I think one of your big green eggs is hanging out. Deliverance is at hand. Death would be a mercy to them. for that green vegetable guy, you could be cousins. I will not be defeated. Deliver you from her grasp. I fear no end. I will not be defeated. Anything for a friend. I can really feel the love. Death has arrived. Prepare yourselves for the journey. 
I feel surprisingly refreshed. That will... Don't mess with Hulk! Looks like we've acquired some new hardware courtesy of Hydra. Good work. Hunter, do you know what claustrophobia is? Does that have to do with the magical man who gives children gifts? <laughs> no, that's Santa Claus. I'm talking about a phobia. It's a fear attached to a specific thing. Are you scared of anything? Large bodies of water where I cannot see the bottom. Ah, the ocean. She is fierce and mighty and worthy of respect. It is unnerving how we know more of our solar system than we do of the sea. It's true. I can never understand why the natural world is seen as mundane by the people who live within it. But being scared is different than having a phobia. Then what is this phobia of yours? It's a fear of small, enclosed spaces. Phobias come from trauma, and if we're put in the position where our phobia is present, it's hard to function. That sounds awful. It was. Thankfully, I've been able to overcome it. It took many years of work and failure, but I did it. Will the phobia return, even if you have bested it? I don't know. How did it come about? I was put in the position where it was my fear, or the safety of my team. Sometimes being under extreme pressure works. That it does. I just thought you should be aware of my past phobia. Thank you for telling me. Just know that it won't impact the team. Find me again for next time. I know you have a lot on your mind, dear, but if you have any more interest in exploring the grounds, you should do it before leaving on this next mission. You won't get another chance to finish our little side projects. I know it's late, but we really must talk about the reality of you wielding that weapon. Hey, Charlie Whirly Puppy Face. The God Killer certainly turned out to be more than we bargained for, didn't it? First, we discover its hilt is made from a member of the blood. Then, Strange comes to the conclusion that the blade is constructed from the very primordial evil God we are trying to prevent from devouring this dimension.
Happy news. The God Killer is probably even more powerful than we thought. And more dangerous, to you especially. I fear that its connection to your collar is a way Cathan could exploit its fissure and break it completely. You know about the crack in my collar? How? Agatha told me it was fractured during that explosion with Venom. She thought I should know. I'm not angry with you, Hunter, but why didn't you come to me as soon as you realized it was compromised? You have enough to worry about, Sarah. I did not want to add worrying about me to your list. You're my charge. It's my job to worry about you. I know I've been hard on you, but I'm here for you, Hunter. This must be the last secret we keep between us. It has to be. There's too much riding on it. That crack in your collar makes you more vulnerable to corruption than ever. Hunt. I've hunted with a lot of different folks in my day. But there's one question I ask the special cases. And I suppose I am one of those special cases. Indeed you are. But a little more what that means later. By all means, ask your question. What do you do after we beat Lilith and stop the prophecy of the Midnight Sun? My quarry is eternal. I hunt darkness wherever it lurks. Caretaker did her job way too effectively. I am not seeing a problem. I enjoy ridding the world of my mother's blight. There's got to be more, Hunter. Special cases are when I get the impression there's nothing beyond the immediate goal. The immediate goal matters most. Tell that to Eric Brooks in the Daywalker Trio. Uh... When humanity's safe from evil, whenever that happens, I retire to New Orleans and play jazz trumpet, happier and livelier than this city in summertime. I'm more than a vampire hunter, and the other heroes who understand that there's a dream beyond the mission have a better grasp on life. And I got another life I'm looking forward to living. Slay evil, enjoy life. Right on. It's living that makes the fight worth fighting. Reflect on that, Hunter. Need a pick-me-up? Farewell, Hunter. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? This is some of my best work. What can we work on for you, Hunter? Farewell, 